Hi guys, today we're going to be doing some blacksmithing basics. We're going to go over how to do a taper on both round bar and square bar. So let's light up the forge, get the anvil nice and hot, and let's start forging. We'll be using this piece of, it's about half inch square bar. Um, this is just from an old fire poker I made. Um, we're going to be using this to forge a taper. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying to pinch right here and right here, it's back and forth, and it should form a tip. Um, I've done this many times. This is a very fundamental part of blacksmithing. Once you get this down, you can make all sorts of stuff, um, fire pokers, like what this used to be, uh, like marshmallow skewers, to decorative twists. This tapering is extremely important to learn and that's why I'm here to teach you guys. Guys I got the metal hot. I'm just gonna be using a mid-sized hammer. It's a 32 ounce. I know it's kind of beat up but right now I don't want to have to spend more money to get a new one. But if any of you guys want to donate me a good hammer I'd love it. So here's what we're gonna be doing. Gonna be flattening this. See how that's kind of started to pinch in? We just need to repeat this process a little while and we'll have a great taper on it. Okay guys, it's hot enough for the second heat. I'm just going to repeat the process over again. See how I'm trying to taper this down? Just trying to choke it off. See how it's thicker up here, thinner down here? I just need to repeat this process over and over. And then we'll be able to have a great taper on square bar. To our third heat. See, I'm just working in squares, still having the same square part, but I'm going to start hitting on the sides and rounding it. See how it's starting to round. Now I'm just going to bring that rounding back and taper it a little bit more. And we'll be done with the square bar taper. Fifth heat. And there we go guys. That's how you taper some square bar. Now I'm going to go over to round bar and show you how to taper a round bar. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be showing you how to do a taper on round bar. The only piece of round bar I have is a really small, I think it might be an eighth of an inch in diameter. So it's going to go very quickly, but the process is the same for any size material. 
Okay, so I got my little piece of metal pot. It's pretty much the size of a large wire. But still the same process. So what I'm gonna be doing, just like before, There you go, the one heat taper. But this process is the same for all round bar. But I love using this because with this, you can make some pretty cool stuff. See, there you go. A little scroll in there. There you go. And this could be the start of an S hook or whatever. But the tapering is a very fundamental part of blacksmithing. It can give you some really cool results. So I suggest get out in your shop and try to taper some stuff. You need to practice this. This will teach you hammer accuracy and tapering. And tapering, as you can see, can be very cool. Okay guys, so with our taper, we're gonna be forging a little S-hook that will be available in the shop if you wanna purchase it. Okay, so how I'm gonna start is going like this. Okay guys, so we lost some of the footage, but that's what we got so far. So now I'm just gonna make the bend down here. And I'm gonna cut it off. We're gonna do another taper. S-hooks are great practice for tapering. I highly suggest this if you're going into blacksmithing as a beginner, or if you've been doing this for many years. This is a really great thing to help with hammer action. Okay guys, so I've cut off the metal. Now we have this weird odd shape here. Now we need to make the other hook, but first we need to put a taper in before you do any bend.
had a little bit too much material. guys well that's about it for this video guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button and push the like button and hit the bell as well that will allow you to get notifications about a new video speaking of new videos tell us what you want to see in the future we love hearing from you guys and we want to also if any of you guys want to donate to us we would love that you can send us an email at ttblacksmithing at gmail.com if you want to donate. Thanks, guys. See you for the next one.